Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here with a new card making video. Today I'm showcasing the latest release by my favorite things. Again they have come up with wonderful products. Let's take a quick look on all these products and then at the end of the video I'm going to share three cards using dice from the new release. By the way, the whole new release is 10% off so make sure to grab anything you like quickly. You will find all the links and the coupon code down below in the description area as well as on my blog. So here is the first stamp, it features three little different fairies and uh, they are holding flowers along with many sentiments. Just like with all MFT stamps, there are dies that I like to store at the back, but remember the dies are sold separately. And this stamp set is called Flower Fairies. This is the Sky High stamp set. You get lovely designs to color with your coloring mediums. This is a little bunny falling from the sky. There is a big stamp with an airplane as well as a banner at the back. Two critters are flying away. There are many sentiments and I like that you get little trees so you can create a little scene so they look like they are very far away. There are also matching ties, even the big one that cuts out the plane along with the banner. Now I know you will all love the next one, this is absolutely adorable. It's called Unicorns and Glitter. You get two little girls dressed up as unicorns along with uh, a couple of cats which are also dressed up like unicorns. There are also stars and rainbows to embellish your card as well as uh, matching sentiments. And of course you can get the dice. If you love making cards with animals, this is a stamp set for you. It's called Double the Fun. It gives you the Noah's Ark along with many different animals, many sentiments and little birdies, even little mice, which are absolutely adorable. And of course, just like always, there are matching dice to cut out everything from this stamp set. Now, if you love cats and if you love unicorns, then this stamp set is for you. You get many cats dressed up as unicorns, as well as clouds and rainbows. Now this is called Recipe for Love and it is a great big sentiment to make a statement on a card. I like using big sentiments on busy backgrounds such as the ones that you create with your inks or your alcohol inks. And now this month they came up with the balloons. They had uh, these balloons last month as well but as uh, in a form of dice. This month they came up with uh, stamps so you get both numbers and the alphabet in capital. I like this because you can personalize your cards with the initial of your recipient or even their age for birthday cards. And let's take a look at the dies. This is a straight up rainbow die. You can have the cloud at the bottom of this rainbow or you can have it at the top, it's up to you. And there are seven strip dies so you can cut with one passing all the colors of the rainbow. Now here are a couple of sentiment dies. These are the ones that you will be using again and again. One of them has happy birthday on top along with the outline. I love those dies with outlines. And the other one says smile. Now here are two die sets which I absolutely love and I will be using those today on my cards. You can use this one to create lots and lots of different flowers. You get the stems, you get the centers, many different designs of flowers along with little leaves. I absolutely love them and they have a stitching detail. Now this one gives you a pot, you can create the pot and put inside the flowers. They both end up making wonderful cards and you will see what I will create with them. So this was the release for this month, make sure to check it out below, you will find all the links along with a 10% coupon code for just a few days. And I'll start with the first card, for this one I will be using the straight up rainbow. I'm going for a shaker card, so before I start doing my die cutting, I'm just going to apply some uh, blue. I'm just inking up the background to create kind of a sky. For that you can also use uh, light blue cardstock. Now I don't want to use all the strips, I'm going to omit one of them, but I'm not going to cut them out uh, and separate them, I'll just leave them as they are. I'm going to place exactly where I want this to be. And then I'm going to tape it down with some purple tape and I'm going to do some partial die cutting. I don't want these strips to cut out all the way. I just need them to be slightly smaller so that I can stick the rainbow on top and I still have some boundaries around them to turn them into a shaker card. Now that's how I do my partial die cutting on my Gemini. I am cutting in between those two cutting plates. 
Notice how I made my uh, sandwich from the beginning, that's the plastic shim, the magnetic shim, then the cutting plate, my die, and then the other cutting plate. So I'm going to make sure that I leave outside of the cutting plates the part that I don't want to cut out, and here is the result. Now the strips would normally cut out all the way to create little uh, pockets for you, but since I want them to be shorter, I'm just going to use my scissors to cut them out. And since I'm playing with my die today, I'm going to do some more die cutting. So I have a rectangle die here, which I'm going to place, just trying to decide which one would uh, look better. Now, as you see me preparing everything, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the whole uh, putting uh, together this card. So I want to have a different color of glitter on each and every one of those strips. That's why I need to create individual pockets. For that, you can use uh, tiny thin strips of foam tape to create the pockets at the back, or you can use fan foam to cut out, or like I did here, I'm using a um, a foam by Sizzix that has adhesive on both sides. So I am going to cut out the cloud as well from white glitter cardstock. I will also cut it out from black cardstock to get the eyes and the mouth. And I will also cut it out from uh, pink cardstock to get the little uh, pink cheeks. And since I'm doing all the cutting now, I will also cut out the sentiment. I'm die cutting this from uh, black cardstock, but you will see at the end I changed my mind and I'm just going to use a white one. At the back of my panel, I'm adding double-sided tape. I'm going to peel off the packing and then I'm going to stick on top a piece of acetate for creating the windows on all those little strips. And here is my foam which I'm going to stick at the back to create the pockets for my grid. I peeled off the backing from the bottom. I'm just going to lay it there. And the adhesive on this one is surprisingly quite forgiving, so you can see I can lift it and place it back on exactly where I need it to be, and then I can press harder to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. And that's how it looks at the moment. All the pockets are ready and I also have a little piece of uh, cardstock close by to cover it up. Now you can see that I need to create my rainbow backwards, so I'm going to start with uh, purple first. The, I am using glitter here, uh, but of course you can use any sequence or a little uh, beads that you might have. I am using glitter that I have from Nuvo, these are by Tonic Studios, in a wide range of colors. And uh, I'm adding the glitter that I need inside those pockets by using my handy little spoon. I have a Swiffer cloth, a dust cloth close by so that I can clean up my spoon while changing colors of glitter. And once everything is ready, I'm going to peel off the backing and stick the paper on top. So my shaker panel is ready to go. All I need to do is to put my card together. In real life it looks gorgeous, I love the look of glitter, but at the same time it is trapped behind those windows so you don't send any mess at all at the recipient. I'm going to place the window on a card base that's white and at the back of my uh, cloud I'm going to add a piece of double-sided tape. Uh, this way I'm going to end up having sticky at the front and at that A I can stick inside those uh, little eyes as well as the mouth. Everything falls inside those holes. Now there are many ways to put together this card. You can either place it like that, which is my idea of uh, putting it together, or you can have the um, cloud upside down. So this way you will have the straight up rainbow. It's really up to you. Now this is where I was uh, going with the black smile, which uh, by the time I placed it on top I didn't like it at all. So I went ahead and cut out a white one and placed it on top to cover it up completely. I think it shows better this way. And here's the first card all finished, really shiny with lots of glitter. Even the cloud is made out of a white glitter cardstock. For my second card, I will be using the planted blooms, so I am going to separate everything I need to start die cutting. 
For this card, I will use white cardstock to cut out all the pieces and then I will use my alcohol markers to do the coloring. While for the next card, where I will be using only dyes again, I will go with the colored cardstock, so you can see both looks. So as I'm putting this card together, I can talk a little bit and share uh, some live updates. So I might sound quite uh, different today. I have some echo on my room and that's just because I have packed up the whole craft room. Nothing is out at the moment. Everything is in boxes. We just bought a new house and we are moving in a couple of days. I will take next week off from blogging, but I do have uh, a couple of videos pre-filmed, so you will see something popping up on my feed. In the meanwhile, I will make my best to put my craft room together along with the rest of the house, so that I can go back to normal as soon as possible. Now you see here I have cut out all the little bits and pieces and you can uh, place one on top of the other for a paper piece look. I do have the pot, I do have the flower bouquet as well as lots of leaves. So I'm going to move on and start coloring everything. Just decide what color you want your flower you want your flowers to be. Today I'm going with my Nuvo alcohol markers. These are markers that I absolutely love. They are by Tonic Studios. They come in sets of three, so you always know which one matches which one to do the shading. And they don't come in a wide range of colors, so sometimes it's good because you don't get overwhelmed but all, by all the choices that you have. So after coloring everything, it's time to put the bouquet together. For that, I'm going to use my Nouveau Deluxe glue and stick one little flower on top of another, just like so. I went with different colors for all the flowers, but of course you can go monochromatic. Now this one is uh, consists of three parts. You get a, a top one with um, little dots that you can see underneath, so that's why I call it the middle part brown. And the bottom one where I went with white and a touch of yellow, so it looks like a daisy. I'm going to stick down the last two pieces. And again, remember there are holes on some of the flowers, so you will always see what's underneath. Now to finish it off, I'm going to stick some of the leaves and I'm adding a little curve on them. This is going to help my pot look more uh, alive and uh, dimensional. And uh, you can stick those directly on top of the other flowers or like I'm doing here, slightly offset so it looks more full. Now I'm going to work on my background. You see here I have a small white panel with some uh, washi tape at the bottom. That's just because I want to have a straight clean line underneath. I'm going to add just a little bit of blue at the back so that it's not completely white. And I'm also going to use one of those really basic stencils by MFT with uh, polka dots on top and I'm going over it again. I'm not going to cover up completely the whole background. I mainly staying where that bluish was underneath, but it still sa adds something interesting there, but it is at the same time quite subtle. Now I'm going to stick down my sentiment, and this comes from one of the other stamp sets from the new release. I have some uh, foam tape at the back of the flowers as well as of the pot. I like dimension on my cards. I'm going to place that there and I'm going to finish off my card by adding this on a yellow cardstock and by sticking some gems here and there. Here are some close-up photos on the second card for today. Really lovely and goes with any sentiment. I am going to make the third card now and for that I will be using this die set with all the flowers and the stems. It's called Stitched Garden, along with the Happy Birthday one. I have already pre-cut everything from colored cardstock and for the flowers I went with three shades of pink all the way from lighter to darker. I used one shade of green for all the stems and the leaves and I do have some yellow little circles for the center of my flowers. And now first I'm going to start by putting together my sentiment. I cut it out, the word happy and the word birthday from white cardstock and then I'm going to place it on top of the outline which I have cut out from black cardstock. I think that white and black for sentiments may really make a statement and they stand out beautifully no matter what colors you use. 
For sticking everything together, I'm using my trusted Nouveau Deluxe glue. I absolutely love this glue and I never change it. I can go with a, a glue for ages and I use it pretty much every day. I like the amount it comes with. It never clogs on me. It has a fine tip and it grabs really quickly. You don't have to wait. Plus, when I get boo-boos, like um, uh, I have a... Uh, here, for example, if you take a look, a closer look, you will see that I have some uh, glue coming out of the letters, but it's not going to show at the finished card. Now I'm going to put my flowers together. At the bottom of the light pink ones, I'm going to add some glue and stick the stems on top. But for the other ones, I'm going to add glue at uh, the little circles at the top of these stems and then stick the flowers on top instead. So you get a couple of different looks here. And imagine of all the color combos that you can create with different colored cardstock or even with your favorite medium, like I did in the previous card where I used my alcohol markers. So my flowers are pretty much ready. I'm going to stick the little yellow centers on these daisies. There are different sizes of these ones. You get bigger and smaller ones, so you can play along and put your flowers together any way you like. Here's another idea with this die set. If you want to turn those flowers looking more dimensional and fuller, you can stick uh, one flower on top of the other, add a little curve with your uh, fingers, and you will end up with a dimensional flower. Or you can always use pattern paper to cut those flowers, they are really going to look gorgeous. Now here I created a background just like I did with the previous card, but this time instead of using blue, I used light yellow. I'm going to add some foam tape at the back of my sentiment and stick it down. And I made sure that I don't have the foam all the way to the top. So I do have some space to tuck behind my flowers. Now I'm going to play a little bit, try to decide where everything is going to go. And then once I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to stick them down. For sticking them down, I'm having uh, most of them completely flat on the card. But for a couple, I will use some foam tip so that they look as if they are at the foreground. Now here I am embellishing my card even more by sticking down the leaves that I have cut out. And for picking all those little bits and pieces, I'm using my embellishment wand. I'm going to stick this on a yellow card base. I absolutely love yellow for spring cards. They help all those colors pop. It makes it look brighter and really happier. Now I'm going to finish off my card by sticking some of those crystal gems here and there, just to add some sparkle. And here are some close-up photos on the last card for today. And here is a quick look on all the three cards that I made using dies from the latest release by my favorite things. Don't forget there are links down below to everything I used along with a coupon code for a 10% off from the new release. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.